Today I am going to be challenging myself to make the Tilly and the Buttons cocoa top in just one hour. Do you think I can do it? Hello everyone, I hope you are doing really well. So today I'm setting myself a little challenge. I actually challenged myself to sew a Tilly and the Buttons cocoa top in an hour about five years ago and it is on my YouTube channel. You can go and search for it. It's a very old video, very different style, but I thought I would set myself a little rematch and do it again. Although I'm actually, I've made it a little bit harder. I'm making the dress version this time. Um, so yeah. So I am making this for my sister actually. It is her birthday in three days and I was gifted this fabric from Rooted and it is perfect for my sister. She it, she works on an organic fruit and veg farm at the moment, but she has worked on dairy farms and things like that as well. Um, and she has a little collie dog called Pip, who is just the most gorgeous thing. And this is a black cotton jersey and it's got sheep and collies all over it and it's just perfect for her. So I have measured her up and I'm gonna make her the cocoa dress. Um, it was quite um, a novelty actually because when I measured my sister and checked against the measurements she fitted into a straight size which I can't quite believe I'm not sure I can't remember what size it was I cut this out a little while ago um, she's a bit smaller than me and yeah a straight size just hips waist bust all in the same size it was a novelty I'll be honest um, but yeah it's a really beautiful fabric and I'm, yeah, I hope she loves it. So I'm making this for her birthday, which is in three days time. And yeah, I thought I would set myself the challenge of trying to sew it in an hour. Last time I did this challenge, I managed it in about one and a half hours. So we will see how we get on. I've got a stopwatch I'm gonna set on my phone and we'll put a timer in a corner somewhere. Um, and I will pause the stopwatch whenever I do any chatty bits or show you some close ups and things like that. So, but I promise all the sewing will be timed. So pause this video right now, go into the comments and write down your guess, type down your guess. How long do you think it's gonna take me? Do you think I'll manage it in an hour? Do you think I'll manage it in 58 minutes or one hour and two minutes? I don't know, I'm not sure, but we will give it a good go. So I have my machine all set up with the lightning stitch. I'm using my Janome. 230 DC and it's stitch number five, which is like the lightning stitch one. Um, I'm just gonna sew it all up on the machine. I'm not gonna overlock or finish because it's a cotton jersey so the edges don't fray at all. So keeping it nice and simple. Although having said I'm keeping it nice and simple, I actually don't have the pattern to hand, but I have made this top quite a few times and I'm fairly confident I can do it without the pattern. <laughs> We'll see. I have cut a couple of strips of ribbon. This is a really cute pink leopard print ribbon that was included in our subscription boxes last year, I think. And I'm just gonna put these on the back shoulder seam and it just stabilizes the shoulder seams, stop them from stretching out so much. Um, so that's the first thing to do. Then the next thing is to sew the back and front shoulders together. Then the neck line, now it's not got a neck band, the cocoa top, it's just a single folded over stitch down neck band, neck line. Um, so again, that makes it a bit more simple, although it is quite fiddly. Then we attach the sleeves on the flat, so we don't insert the sleeves, we attach the sleeves first, and then we sew the sleeve seam and the side seam all together in one go. Hem the sleeves, hem the dress and that's it. So there's only three pattern pieces to the cocoa top and dress pattern. So it's nice and simple. Um, so yeah, are we ready? Let's go.
Okay, so the shoulder seams and the neckband are all sewn. I have currently paused it. We are at 20 minutes and 10 seconds. Um, the machine did stretch the neckband out slightly, so I've reduced the tension and hopefully we'll be okay. I gave it a bit of steam on the iron, which is currently beeping, in case you can hear that, to let me know it's still on. Um, so yeah, hopefully, you know, a little wash and an iron and a bit of steam and hopefully that will fix itself up. So now we're going to sew in the sleeves, so matching the notches. If, um, if you're new to sewing, when you have a sleeve, the front um, of the sleeve always has one notch and the back of the sleeve always has two notches and you match that up to the armhole in the uh, bodice of the pattern so that you know which is which. Oh, this one's still slightly attached. Let's give that a little snip. So, um, yes, putting the sleeve in on the flat means that you lay the bodice of your um, your fabric bodice pieces down flat like that and then you put the sleeve head right sides together oh if I can get it right sides together everything wants to slide off of the table matching the notches and then sewing that seam together so that is the wrong sleeve <laughs> I want that sleeve okay I'm gonna restart the timer well, not restart, I'm going to set the timer to go again and sew in the sleeves. Okay, 20 minutes are gone. Carry on. Okay, the sleeves are in, so now we are going to sew from the hem of the sleeve all the way down to the hem of the dress. So it's a really easy seam line. I'm gonna pin, well I'm gonna pin just a, a few pins to save time, making sure that the sleeve seams line up together there. So I'll put a, pop a pin in there. And then just sew in one straight line all the way down to the hem of the dress. So we're at about 31 minutes now. So hopefully this bit is fairly quick and then it's just the hemming to do. <laughs> okay, restarting. So I'm going to pin just a few just to make sure that it's all lining up on both the left and right sides so that I can just sew both of those all in one go. Obviously press as well so the sleeves have been pressed. Um, I switched the stitch to a regular zigzag rather than the lightning stitch because the lightning stitch and with the pressure, um, tension being a bit higher, made the neckline quite wobbly, so a bit sort of stretched out. So I've switched to a zigzag stitch and reduced the width of that, um, and it seems to be doing a bit better now. Right, that's one side pinned. I feel like I'm on the sewing bee. Like a rush, I, don't, I could not do the sewing bee. I could not sew under time pressure that I haven't put up on myself. Actually, I'm not even very good at sewing upon and time pressure that I have put up on myself either. Thank you. 
One last seam to go, just the sleeve, and then a quick press. And hopefully I will do it within the time. Okay, I'm just gonna go give that a press and we're done. I did it. I only went and did it. 55 minutes and 46 seconds, 0.48, and it is done. I cannot quite believe I've actually managed it. And I'm really, really happy with it. It looks amazing. I hope it fits, obviously. Um, she's not here to try it on. But it's all done. It's all hemmed. The sleeves are hemmed and pressed again. And uh, yeah, I've done it. <sighs> so, I beat my previous record of one and a half hours and I've done it in 55 minutes. Thank you so much everyone for watching. If you think you might feel like you might be up for giving yourself a challenge of sewing a cocoa top in one hour, then do let me know in the comments. Give this video a little like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all super soon. Bye.